Lorena Bobbitt infamously mutilated John Wayne Bobbitt in his sleep in 1993. John Wayne Bobbitt, the Virginia man whose wife Lorena Bobbitt infamously chopped off his penis with a kitchen knife in 1993, has lost all of his toes due to side effects from an illness he claims he sustained while based at Camp Lejeune in the 1980s. Lorena Bobbitt attacked her then-husband in his sleep and tossed his severed manhood outside a car window as she fled the scene. Doctors were miraculously able to reattach it. But now, due to a condition called toxic peripheral polyneuropathy, he's lost all ten toes and walks with the help of prosthetics, the former construction worker tells Fox News Digital. I'd get wounds. They wouldn't heal and lead to osteomyelitis, a bone infection and amputation, the 57-year-old Marine Corps veteran said Monday. They didn't know what the underlying condition was back in 2013 when I first got wounded. Veterans, family members still suffering from toxic Camp Lejeune water as unresolved illness claims Gromindy Robinson L. takes a selfie with John Wayne Bobbitt at the Nevada Republican Party's election results watch party at the South Point Hotel and Casino on November 6, 2018 in Las Vegas, Nevada. David Becker, Getty Images. Bobbitt was stationed at Camp Lejeune in the 1980s, when the base had a water supply badly contaminated with industrial chemicals. He revealed his graphic injuries to The Sun over the weekend and told Fox News Digital Monday that due to the illness, a minor injury suffered at a construction site led to infections that spread into his bones and forced him to lose all ten toes over a span of the past decade. I stepped on a nail, and I didn't realize it, punctured my toe, and it got infected, he told Fox News Digital. I had nerve damage, severe nerve damage, in my hands and feet from the chemicals that I drank down there. Bobbitt said he has civil claims pending against the federal government as well as a disability claim pending stemming from the initial workplace injury. John Wayne Bobbitt recalls in new interview, Nightmare, 1993 incident when his then-wife cut off his penis. Ecuadorian-born Lorena Bobbitt listens to a lawyer during her trial in Manassas, Virginia, January 1994. Bobbitt was on trial for cutting off her husband's penis, she was acquitted by reason of temporary insanity. Consolidated News Getty Images Jurors found Lorena Bobbitt not guilty by reason of temporary insanity after her defense attorneys argued that she'd been driven mad by physical and sexual abuse at the hands of her then-husband. The court had her committed to a pediatric institution after the trial. The couple divorced in 1995, and John Bobbitt was acquitted of sexual assault charges in his own criminal trial. John Bobbitt told Fox News Digital Monday that his ex was the abusive one, a narcissist who grew jealous when he told her he planned to separate for the third time and attacked him in his sleep. I never abused her, he said. That was all a smear campaign. John Wayne Bobbitt, who gained notoriety when his wife sliced off his penis in 1993, frolics in a pool at Wet n Wild, a Las Vegas water park, with Playboy Playmates July 26, 1994. Bobbitt was a guest of the Playboy party that was held in conjunction with the 13th annual VSDA home video convention. More military families sue over fuel-contaminated drinking water, were just collateral damage. He also claimed that toxic chemicals from Camp Lejeune were impairing his ability to think clearly during his rocky marriage. He planned on leaving her, he said, accusing her of being the abuser in their relationship, but she took the news poorly. I ripped her heart out, and she cut off my penis, he said. She was narcissistic, but she wanted the dream, the American dream, but she was just abusive. American porn star John Wayne Bobbitt C meets British glamour models Lindsay Don McKenzie L and Don Phoenix at the British launch of his video, John Wayne Bobbitt Uncut. Bobbitt hit the headlines when his wife severed his penis with a kitchen knife while he was sleeping. Reuters he conceded. However, that he did things, she didn't like, including bouncing at a nightclub, where she may have seen him flirting with women. One year, on the day of their wedding anniversary, a woman struck him with her car while he was riding a bicycle. He ended up at her house to clean his wounds, he said, and she later arrived at his apartment with a replacement bicycle. She began giving him the silent treatment, he said, and after a couple of months of that, he decided to leave her. It didn't work, and she attacked him with a kitchen knife in his sleep before fleeing the scene and tossing his severed appendage, which police later recovered.
Lorena Bobbitt attends the film Independent Presents. Lorena, at Arclight Hollywood on February 6, 2019 in Hollywood, California. Tommaso Body, Getty Images. After doctors managed to reattach it, Bobbitt briefly became an adult actor before returning to construction work. One day, he stepped on a nail at a job site, and, according to his claim against Camp Lejeune, the injury festered due to what at the time was an undiagnosed illness. It led to him losing all ten toes in seven surgeries over the course of a decade. According to federal health officials, military personnel and civilians at Camp Lejeune between 1975 and 1985 have a 20% higher risk of cancer than their counterparts based in other parts of the country. Bobbitt said his family is genetically resistant to cancers but that the chemicals inflicted him with toxic peripheral polyneuropathy, a type of nerve damage that viciously attacked his sense of touch as well as the bones in his toes.